I'm Dr. Tom Mather, the Tick Guy from the University of Rhode Island. Take it from the Tick Guy. One little episode is all it takes to get a tick. Permethrin. What is it? Where does it come from? How does it work? Permethrin was first made in 1973 and was first registered as an insecticide by the EPA in 1979. But the history of the chemistry that led to permethrin goes back just a few years, like around 400 BC. You see, permethrin is what is known as a synthetic pyrethroid, a man-made chemical with chemical structures like that of the natural occurring chemical called pyrethrum. Certain types of flowers in the chrysanthemum family contain quantities of pyrethrum. The ancient Persians discovered the insecticidal properties of pyrethrum around 400 BC, and extracts and powders made by grinding up the dried flowers have been used to control all types of insects and arachnids for more than 200 years. The first commercial product using pyrethrum was made in 1828, but actually, there are accounts of similar products going back to China's Chan Dynasty more than 2,000 years ago. Napoleon used this insect powder to help control flea and body lice infestations on French soldiers. Since then, pyrethrum has been used in many forms for effective, low-toxicity insect control. In its most common applications, natural pyrethrum and its synthetic form, permethrin, paralyzes pests by attacking their central nervous systems. Exposing an insect or a tick to permethrin quickly causes it to become incredibly hyperactive and then it falls to the floor. Seemingly repelled, but very often, the treatment is fatal to the bug. These days, the flowers used to make natural pyrethrum are mostly grown in Tasmania, Kenya, Tanzania, and Ecuador. But today, permethrin is available both as a spray and as pre-treated clothing that you can use to effectively prevent tick bites. So make sure before the next time you step outside that you already have your shoes pre-treated with the spray and don't forget to wear treated socks as well. <laughs>